Hi there, Phil Simbark from Chicago. And uh, even though I lost a little cash today, it was really fun to be with my old buddies in Chicago playing in the Chouette. Mark Moskowitz joined me from Florida and had the usual suspects, Herbie and Bob Z, Bob Zaverall, Carter. Others drifted in and out. It was uh, David Rockwell. Just a lot of fun to be with my buddies. Anyway, here's 10 positions that uh, people got wrong or had problems with. Test yourself, stop the video, or slow it down if I go too fast, because I am going to go fast. All money games, all from the Chouette today. Here's the first position. Um, this is a recube situation where white is holding the cube and white is thinking about redoubling. And the question is, should white redouble? And if white redoubles, does blue take or pass? And again, you want to pause this video because I'm going to get right to the answer pretty quickly. And if I can remember, I'll usually tell you what happened. We played a long time. I think it was a, about an eight-hour shoe. Okay, so if you're white, do you redouble? If you're blue, do you take or pass? And the answer is, I'm not going to roll all of these out. I've already rolled most of them out. It's not a redouble. Uh, over the board, it went redouble, and uh, I think uh, somebody passed this. And uh, it's not even a redouble. You don't always hit. When you hit, you don't always win. When you miss, you might well get cubed out immediately, depending on what you rolled. Um... But I, I must tell you, I doubled this. And it wasn't because I thought I would get a pass. I thought it was a double. I really did. So maybe rolled out, it could become a double. But it's a big, big take, which um, I think surprised some people. Uh, you're up 19 pips in the race, and the race seems to matter in backgammon for some reason. I think people care about the race. Okay, let's go on. Position number two. Blue is uh, holding the cube and has a 3-1 to play. I had this play and I played it wrong. So, how do you play 3-1 for blue? Pause the video if you need more time, because I'm going to go to the answer. I hit. Pretty bad play. Got away with it, but uh, certainly not right. Just leaves too many shots. You just can't afford to leave that many shots here. 18-14 is clearly right, and I certainly see it now. Okay. Number three. Maybe that's why I lost money today. Maybe I was tired from the Chicago Open. Really great tournament, and congratulations to Dmitry Obakov, well-deserved win over Chris Trencher in the finals. Well-deserved second place. Chris played great, was showing himself to be a real star, and he just can't quite win that on Sunday, on the last day. Well, this is Monday. Okay, here we have blue on roll cube action. It's an initial cube. Should blue double this? And if blue doubles, should white take or pass? What do you think is the cube action here for money? Okay. The answer. By the way, I did double this. And I was passed. It's barely a double and it's a huge take. So four primes are longer than they seem. Blue could have some problems here. There's plenty of play in this game and not a lot of gammons. Big, big take. I'm pretty sure I got a pass here. Number four. Uh, white on roll. Recube action. Should white redouble? And if he does, does blue take or pass? Okay, I'm pretty sure, as I recall, everybody dropped this but David Rockwell. 
And the answer is, it's a big, big take, pretty solid redouble, big, big take, and Rockwell was smart enough to take this cue. Good for him. Um, okay. I'm not going to do too much commentary. I'm tired. It's late at night here in Chicago. I got giving lessons early tomorrow morning. All righty. This is uh, blue on roll cube action. If you can't see it, white has three checkers off. Should blue redouble? If blue redoubles, does white take or pass? I must tell you, I have no, I was out of this game. I really don't remember what happened. However, redouble take. With only three checkers off, it's a little scary, but it's a very good redouble. You lose your market if you roll decently and he dances again. I think you could easily lose your market on the next roll. That's a good reason to redouble. Okay, number six. Number six, white is on roll, initial cube. Should white double? White doubles, does blue take or pass? I do remember what happened here. Got your answer? If not, pause the video. It went double pass over the board. Looks like once in a while we get them right, huh? Wow, isn't that amazing? It is double pass. Just lose too many gammons to take this, and you just barely could eke out a take if you didn't have any gammons. This builder, this checker back here is going to get crushed or be forced to come up, and you just don't have that much of a game. Down 36 pips in the race. Okay, number seven. <clears throat> Uh, the cube has been turned. White is holding the cube, and blue has a 6-2 to play here. A couple of obvious plays. You either run with the checker or you hit. If you hit, do you lift with the two or do you bring another down or do something else? Bob Zavarall talked me into the right play. He was my partner. I didn't like it. I wasn't sure he was right, but he talked me into the right play here. Bob's been playing great. He cashed in the Chicago Open Tournament. He's been doing great on Galaxy. Glad to see him back and playing, as he says himself, even better than he was before. But he was pretty good before. So the right play is to hit by a lot instead of playing safe. You're just not up that much in the race play safely and you gain so much by hitting and you pick up some gammons as well look at this 13 percent more gammons by hitting that's the real that's the big thing right there that's what you win one percent more games but it, this is what tells the story right here okay moving right along to position number eight of course i took a lot more pictures than this but they were either close or, in, in, or obvious. This is one where I lost a bet. Again, I lost it to Bob Zavrow. We were partners here. Do you come off the five point or do you peel and come off the four point? Which one do you think is right? Clear the five or the four? Well, Matt Kungar used to scream at me a lot when in doubt, peel. Peel is right here. I was wrong. It's not a huge mistake to play it uh, off the five, but enough to lose the bet. We play .02 or more loses the bet on plus plus. So I did lose a point to Bob on this one, and it is right to peel. Again, 4% more gammons. You win about the same either way. Number nine. What am I doing betting guys who are better than me? Okay, blue to play 4-3. I got to give Carter credit for this one. He came up with the right play. You obviously have a lot of different options here. 
That's all I'm going to say. And it's hard for me to get the words out, but Carter was River River Bright. Ready? You make the three point. Play a game, play pure. You don't want a hole in your board. He doesn't roll that too, you got a hell of a game. I wasn't sure, I wasn't screaming about making the two. I, I was still thinking, but he was pretty insistent and he was right. Okay, last one, number 10. And on my Facebook page, if you saw this on Facebook, please post how you did. I'm curious to know how many out of 10 you got right. Okay, this is blue on roll cube action. Should blue double, initial double? Should white take or pass? <clears throat> well, I want to tell you that Herb was the only one that got this right. Everybody else did the wrong thing, but Herb got it right. He's a lot smarter than he looks. I always say that about Herb. It's a double and a take. I thought it was a pass. I passed it. So did everybody else but Herb. But it's not a huge take, but it's a take. Of course, Herb got punished immediately. Uh, Blue rolled a 6-1. That was the ball game. But we had a lot of fun. It was a nice chouette. Oh, I think I forgot to mention David Stein was in the chouette, too. That's right, my good buddy David Stein was there. And Chris. And I have to apologize. I forgot Chris's last name. We had a nice shoot. We had we play partners with six or more. We have one of the rule, the Simborg rule. If you're the box and you dance on a one point board, you get a point from everybody. And it only happened one time the entire day and, and I won the point. My partner and I got it. It was really nice. I love that rule. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you play more shoots. It's really fun. And it was a great learning experience. And we take this is less than half the pictures that we took. But I think, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Give me your feedback, please.